Now, what if I, I have a chart of accounts in an Excel spreadsheet like this? Uh, not something I exported from QuickBooks, just something I had in my own uh, spreadsheet. Now, um, the, the formatting of it, I mean, it could vary. Just make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. However, it's really important that the basic components are in your spreadsheet. So you definitely got to have an account name and the maximum number of characters that this can be is uh, 31. So that's really, really important. Can't have more than 31 characters. Uh, the type, right? So in this case, I call that expense, income, and fixed asset. And then the account number, which could be a maximum of, I believe is seven characters. Um, let's just double check that. I, sometimes I forget <laughs> the specific details. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, a maximum of seven characters I can have under the account number. And under the account name, the maximum is, I believe, uh, 41. Let's just double check here. So there's 10, 10 more, 10 more, right, 31. Okay, that's the maximum number of characters I can have in an account name is 31. So just confirming that, that it was uh, 31 characters. Anyway, so a maximum of 31 characters on the account name, a maximum of seven numbers on the account number and the type, you just have to have the same exact name that it has in QuickBooks. So whatever they call it in QuickBooks, you have to name it the same way in uh, in your spreadsheet. So in this case, it's asset singular, not assets plural. So you have to make it match. Anyway, so let me save this. So I, to import a chart of accounts from Excel like that, we're gonna go into File, Utilities, Import Excel Files. Excel files, and then I'm gonna hit no on that first question. And then it says, uh, this is kind of like the simple portion here to the left side. It says you want me to walk you through it, but look, uh, accounts is not even an, op an option here. So we're gonna pick this advanced import that actually allows me to import my account. So I'm gonna click on advanced import, and then I'm gonna go to, here was a set of the import, click on browse, and go find that spreadsheet. So let's go down here to, there we go, there's my spreadsheet, hit open. It will take about uh, 30 seconds to a minute to load. And then when it's completely loaded, here it'll ask you to select the sheet. So I'm gonna, it's, there's only one sheet on that spreadsheet. So I'll pick sheet one. And then before I import, I have to create a mapping. So here on the bottom, it says uh, data mapping. So I basically have to uh, create a new mapping. So I'm gonna go to add new. And once I click add new, a new window will pop up and I'll just give it a name. We'll call it uh, chart import. You have to give it a name. You kind of have to set up the template. So under import type, I'm gonna pick account. Okay, pick account. And then here it gives me all the different uh, choices. So look, I can pick and choose what I want to bring in. So if I'm bringing in a chart of accounts with balance sheet accounts and those have balances, good news is I can actually import the balances um, as of a specific date. But that's if the accounts don't exist. If they already exist, then I can't import the balance. They have to be brand new accounts. Anyway, so I'm gonna go to type here and go to type and then number, number and name, name. And basically what I'm doing is I'm matching uh, the columns. Okay, so I'm just matching the columns with uh, the data set. Okay, so let me uh, close that and go to save. And then real quick before I import, I'm just gonna click on preview. And the preview window is, is nice, it's not very complete, but it kinda lets you know exactly, um, gives you a first couple of fields, letting you know how it's reading the data and whether or not there's preliminary errors there. So if I just click on import and hit okay, you will notice that now I have a fixed asset called truck 2015. If I go to my income area, we're gonna see one called international income. And then if I go down to my expenses, I should have a warehouse expense somewhere here. There's warehouse expense. So that's basically how you import um, an account from Excel. Now, I wanna talk about importing the balances. It's really important because I mentioned that briefly. Let's say, for example, I am gonna uh, bring in some balances. So I'll delete these here and let's say, I'm gonna bring in two trucks, um, truck 2016 and truck 2017. And then I'll bring in some balances here. So I'm gonna give them 
different account numbers. That's really important because it's not going to work if they have same account numbers. And then I'm going to give them a balance. So I'm going to put here balance. And then this would be 25,600. And this one's going to be, let's say, 19,850. And then I have to create a new one, a new column called date. And I'll put there 12, 31, 2015, whatever the as of date for that import is going to be. And again, this only works if these accounts are brand new. If they're already in your chart of accounts, you cannot import the balance. They have to be brand new accounts. They cannot be in your chart of accounts. So uh, let me go ahead and close that and do the same thing. So file, utilities, import, Excel files, go to advanced import, select my spreadsheet here under browse, select the sheet, and then I'm going to change the mapping. So I'm going to go to edit the mapping because the mapping that we set up previously only really contained um, the first three. So I want to add now opening balance. And then I also want to add a date, the as of date. So I'm going to hit uh, save and then click on preview. Okay, so there's my two. And then you kind of get, get to preview the data before it comes in. Go to import. And then go into my fixed asset. And there it is. So when I did the import, it gave me an error. Let's take a look at that error. So let's go to utilities, import, Excel files, advanced import. And let's do an import here. And if there's an error, it will tell you at the end, which I kind of just skipped through just to show you. Okay. So there's no right here, two errors. So I'm going to go to save and save my error log. Let's call it error. And then let me go into my desktop and open up that error log. And this will tell you exactly what couldn't get imported and why. So for example, in this case, we had um, duplicate, possibly du duplicate uh, names or duplicate account numbers right here. See duplicate account number. So if I wanted to import that 2016 one, which I think only the 2017 got imported. Let's see, yeah, only the 2017 got imported. 2016 didn't because it's, it's probably sharing the account number with another account that's there. So let me go ahead and delete this one. And like I said, as long as there's no conflict on names or account numbers, it should import no problem. So let's try that again. Yeah, and it's kind of good, whoops, uh, file, utilities, import, Excel. It's kind of good to um, go through the errors because it, it, at the beginning, you may not know exactly how this process works and you are going to have potentially some errors um, and just, you know, deal with them, read the log. And, you know, after a while, you kind of catch up to it. So let's see what happens now. There we go. So now both imported, no problem. Um, the one from before and the one from now, because there was no conflict with the account numbers.